After eight years of toiling away at an ancient video editor on a laptop that's been taped together since the timeline split, YouTube Senpai finally noticed me. At long last, I was blessed with both of the funny internet numbers together, united in harmony forever and ever, in sickness and in health, till death do we part. Yes, this happened several months ago, but I've been uploading on a schedule and there wasn't room for a vlog until now, so the time has come for a look back. The time has come to give back. To give the the people what you wanted. I did that back in 18, it was wild. Stupid gay stuff. Hello. Where are my bagels? Oh. So I put out another call for what you wanted to see and no one, no one told me what they wanted. Stop giving me supportive comments, start giving me demands! So once again, I had to trudge down into the mires of YouTube analytics to scry what deranged search terms the most obscure echelons of society were uttering in search of my videos. This is the result. This is what someone wanted. First up, somebody found my Yu-Gi-Oh guides by searching for dating for introverts. You wanted to know about dating, so you asked a Yu-Gi-Oh player? Oh, my sweet child. You've come to the wrong part of town. Oh, this milk is expired. Back in 2017, I said, you Wanna play strip Yu-Gi-Oh? Oops. That's 3,000 life points, mister. But these days it'd be even worse. Wanna play strip Yu-Gi-Oh? I start by summoning Crystal Beast Sapphire Pegasus, activating its effect to place Crystal Beast Rainbow Dragon from my deck. From my Crystal hand, Beast. I'll use Revolution Synchron to synchro summon Which a powerful search my dragon. Deck for golden rule. Synchron, synchro and I can summon. bring it back to resummon all monsters on the field. Return a banished monster to special summon. So that's 7 negates, no battle phase, no search effects, and the overdrive has 11,000 attack points. Your turn, mister. What? What do you mean you're not in the mood anymore? You said it would be hot to watch me play with myself for 10 minutes, and did I not deliver? The first step to dating as an introvert is to consider that maybe you're not an introvert, maybe you're just ace. And when you're 27, you'll realize that when that guy asked you to come over and watch a movie, he wasn't actually hoping that you would watch the movie and analyze how the cinematography plays up the central themes. Nobody wants that, Mark. Nobody wants you for your beautiful mind. They want you for your beautiful twink booty. Get involved in clubs and communities. It'll be easier to socialize when everyone has a shared task to work toward, and you can get to know people without being in date situations, and the expectations and pressure which can come with those. A couple of y'all were searching for Gen 1-er. Gen 1-er? Yes, I have ketchup and mustard and some negative opinions about the new games, but I don't care about Gen 1, positive or negative. Like, they were great designs for a Game Boy game, but there's no way that they could possibly compare to the new designs which were made with infinitely more resources and attention during development. Also, Gen 1 does not have cute Pokémon. Weedle? That's a bug. Clefairy? The little claws and skin wings are not doing it for me. Jigglypuff? You are three years old and your aspiration is already on a street corner in Las Vegas. Horsey? That one's wet. Eevee? evolves into wet, hot, and pointy. If I wanted to see that, I would look in a mirror. People have found my videos by searching for gay riz lines? I can only assume this was a typo. Did you mean gay frizz lines? With the frizz? No way! Miss Frizzle was hella gay. What, you think her good Christian husband lets her roll up to Walkerville Elementary dressed as the rainbow? When Valerie was off lesson out at college, canon by the way. Good guy! Miss Molly. Gay. It's been a long time. What, since you I were roommates? Just thinking about it. They're still holding hands, this is not platonic. <laughs> she told her grandma, Oh, I just haven't had time to lay myself a bow. I've just been so busy working on this bus. That bus's name? Bussy. Oh, yours also transforms into a bumpy ride for eight people. Why, Molly, you still have the mega magnifier I gave Bet you. Bet that's not what that is. Non-Pokemon fans react is not a very accurate search term for finding my video about Sword, but I haven't bought a Pokemon game since then, and I clearly have no idea what the kids are into these days. I did get to play Legends, though, enough to uncover a certain absolutely false claim about the world of Pokemon, which probably sparked dumpster fires of discourse that I missed out on. This is not okay. If they they shrink themselves. No. No. I hate this. I can't do this. <laughs> no. People have also searched for Pokemon music reaction. Driftvale City is a hit, but I mute it. It hits a very specific vibe very hard, and I just don't resonate at that frequency. Ice Path is a very underappreciated gem. It's got fre frequent variations. 
Woo. Ice Path is an underappreciated gem. It's got a multi-layered rhythm, frequent variations, loud and quiet, and Wobbuffet and Dunsparce. Remember hunting for those two rare Pokemon who do nothing? Remember when you were but a starry-eyed youth with a world of potential ahead of him before you realized how riddled with suppressed trauma you were? Pepperidge Farm remembers. Maybe get yourself some of these distinctive Milano cookies and... Oh god, what's the next one? Floroma is a relaxing town of gentle flowers, which is why it sounds like... Although N is the most beloved character in the series, his battle theme is agonizingly redundant. It's a bold choice to spend half the song just playing the same note for four to eight seconds at a time. Like, N, we have a flight in an hour, can we speed this up? Let's go! Unova Route 10 is the best. It just is. And so is every remix of it. The Smash remix holds a special place in my heart because Super Smash Bros. for Wii U came out on the same day as me! I remember sitting in front of the TV at midnight after opening a show, crying, reevaluating my life, my past finally making sense, but my future lost to uncertainty, and this looping in the background for an hour because I didn't feel like playing the new Smash Bros anymore. No Milanos, just unearthing trauma and finding a liberating clarity underneath. Someone found me by searching for Yu-Gi-Oh! Everything. What about Yu-Gi-Oh? Everything? That's been my life for these past five months, trying to get serious about YouTube, but only my Yu-Gi-Oh! videos taking off. After a while, everything kind of does start to look like Yu-Gi-Oh! I am the spirit of a 3,000-year-old pharaoh. I shall possess this body and use it to win card games. I kidnapped your grandpa and stole his Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Oh, Nelly. Oh, no. I shall save you with the unstoppable Exodia. What? No, I need medical attention. Now I've stolen your grandpa's soul. Oof. Also, I'm hosting this Yu-Gi-Oh tournament. You can do it, Yu-Gi. We believe in you. Now I was going to put him in a home anyway. Now we can use the prize money to cure my sister's blindness. I'd rather have a new car. But we'd have to skip school to compete. I'm coming to save you, grandpa. Sorry, but I need to win this tournament to destroy the patriarchy. I've featured in 220 episodes, but I only ever duel twice. Yikes, actually, this show kind of sucks. I'm gonna go drink some shampoo. I win by default. Kaiba, at long last, I shall avenge my grandpa. If you attack, the shockwave will send me falling to my death. Yo, that's messed up, dude. We just want to knock you out of the tournament, not kill you. Dark magic attack. Mm. Yugi boy, I'm so glad you made it to the final round, but this is where you lose your soul. How does he counter my every move? Hey, he's cheating by snooping on Yugi's cards. Yes, yeah, so? And he has a secret wife. What? No, no, I don't. I'm not straight. How dare you, Pegasus? I can excuse elder abuse and cheating, but heterosexuality has no place in Duelist Kingdom. Uh... <laughs> you did it, Yugs. Now we can afford my sister's eye operation. Wow, when did you get a new car? So where's the prize money, Yugs? Where's... Uh, where's the- It has heated seats. I don't know how the heck <laughs> my channel pops up for the term custom Beyblade, but Beyblades are basically just war dreidels, right? I can handle that. As we all know, dreidel, 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 I made you out of clay. It's a little stinky, a little pre-dried. I will be forming mine around this old rusty drill bit for some weight, some center of gravity. If that's against Beyblade regulations, cry about it. History's written by the victors. Kinda looks like a turd, but we all gotta start somewhere. A little off center. We all have our off days. Can I get it to look less like a spike? I'm gonna model mine after that old Zelda boss with the four faces. The enemy Beyblade will have no idea who they'll be up against. Mischievous Mitch, Grumpy Greg, Angry Arnold, and Surprised Larry. This is looking decent enough by my standards. <laughs> now that we've got the base, we need some weapons, right? Kids, use protection before playing with razor blades. This is a normal thing to do, right? I can explain this to my parents. Dreidel, 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 I made you out of clay. And when you're dry and ready, my enemies will pay. These blades have got to be worth at least 3,000 attack points. You don't want to cross my custom Beyblade in a dark alley. Um, I don't know how to set this down. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. I could use an adult. Day two, I've applied some acrylic paint very carefully. But what good is winning the Beyblade battle if we lose the Beyblade war? The real enemy is the oppression of the patriarchy. So let's show off our pride while emasculating the enemy Beyblade. The more glitter it contracts, the better. This is a perfectly normal thing to want. Dreidel, 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 razor blades and clay, and now with all this glitter, Hellius Queen will slay. So there you go. That's how to create your very own custom Beyblade. Like and subscribe for more custom Beyblade ideas. I make a new custom Beyblade every day for one day only. Oops. My greatest creation is a failure.
Everyone keeps pestering me to hand them a list for my tournament winning Crystal Beast deck, even though a list doesn't help you learn a combo deck, but this video is about giving the people what they want, so fine. Here is the Crystal Beast deck, which I have personally used to top YCS events. Maybe someday it'll help me top someone else. Just kidding, I play Yu-Gi-Oh! We're gonna start, of course, with playing every Crystal Beast and a full set of Sapphires. You know I love my Sapphires. A pair of Rainbow Dragons is perfect, draw one early and you can just discard it, and don't forget to upgrade it to Rainbow Over Dragon, dodge Floodgate, get that one hit kill. For spells, we have three rare values for going turbo or for drawing into new traps, and honestly, that's all you need. Crystal Beasts don't need more spells than that. Although I sometimes do sneak in a Crystal Beacon to speed up Rainbow Dragon, or Crystal Release to beat over strong monsters without using the traps. The traps, by the way, we've got full set of Regekis and Conclaves, which are the reason to play Crystal Beasts. And these are perfect to use with our skill card, Crystal Transcendence, turn cards from the hand into crystals. Everything in this deck is either drawing, or removal, or fuel for draws and removal. And because you have strong control over the contents of your deck, you can accurately predict what you're going to draw later in the game because you've pulled out all the crystals. I've had opponents accuse me of stacking the deck because I always drew what I needed in a grind, but that's the magic of Crystal Beast. In a grind, everything left in your deck is what you need. But the tastiest power move comes in game two. When my opponent sides in their cosmic cyclones trying to stop me from playing Rainbow Dragon, I side out the Rainbow Dragons and some other crystal things, and I side in a bunch of control cards. So now the opponent wastes their cosmic cyclone on crystals that I don't need anymore instead of hitting the traps, which are my new main win condition. The non-Yu-Gi-Oh viewers are not going to understand the satire of this bit, but I really did win speed duel events with this deck, and I vlogged about it. When that Sapphire Surprise video took off, I promised myself that I would follow this YouTube thing wherever it goes. For a whole year, I would upload on a bi-weekly schedule, which has become weekly, including live streams, and I would do my best to balance the popular Yu-Gi-Oh stuff with my usual vlogs, which get a couple dozen views. It has been exhausting, but I'm finally able to monetize my channel now, so that's exciting. I can start getting a crumb of compensation for all the time and money I've sunk into making this catalog. If you enjoyed this video enough to watch it to the end, then I hope you'll check out the rest of my catalog, because there are 70 more where this came from. See you soon! Was that quirky enough?